Ugh, I'm tired. That was a lot. That was a lot. So, yeah, we... We got some good stuff. Hey guys, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway and I'm here with my quarter two makeup and beauty haul. For those of you who are new here, I'm only buying makeup four times this year and that's at the end of each quarter. So I'm going three months, yeah, three months without buying makeup, uh, which is crazy because I used to buy it like every week. So it's changed a lot in my buying habits and it's really exciting for me to see like when I open up the two week window to buy makeup, what I end up getting and we went a little a little crazy this time. So many um, Ulta boxes were sent to me and yeah, we just, a lot went down. So if you would like to see what I ended up picking up this time around on my makeup haul, then just keep watching, here we go. I just filmed my weekly makeup basket where I was wearing the same thing, but I thought, you know what, I have time. The camera's here, the light's here. Why don't we just go ahead and haul? So this is Ulta, this is Target, this is TVS, and this is Too Faced. And what happened, what had happened was, I put in an order with Ulta and I went back and forth with it and I was like, you know what? That's what I'm gonna get, that's great. Well then the next week they had a huge sale, <laughs> of course. So I was like, okay, I went back and forth, I thought about it, I'm like, let me put in one more order. Did that, then there was another sale. <laughs> but I cut myself off, uh, Base, it's July 2nd as I film this, so I'm, I'm cut off. We're done here. We're done here, okay? Um, but let me show you guys what I picked up and what I felt was worth purchasing after months of not buying makeup. I said my weekly makeup basket, it had been two months since I bought makeup, but it's been three months, so I'm excited. I'm super excited. So when I, basically when I'm ready to buy makeup, I look at my favorite YouTubers videos, their wish lists, their anti hauls, what I'm not gonna buy, their actual hauls. I look at what they're using um, and then I just make my own wish list along the way and I've done some wish list videos here on my channel. And then I, so I look at those and I just kind of decide like what I can and can't live without. So some of this was just new stuff that I was so excited to try out and then some of the stuff that I felt like I can't live without, and then other stuff is I needed to hit the shipping minimum. All right, let me just put all this together real quick. All right, let's start with Ulta first because that's where I got the most amount of stuff. So there's only one thing in here that is not makeup. So, which is different because the last, for the quarter one haul, there was a lot of like skincare stuff, um, but I actually didn't, don't need any of it right now, so I didn't want to just stock up when I didn't need it. But I did take advantage of the Leader Sale and buy the Bi Biolage. This is my Matrix, but it's their raw line. I really like this line. I actually hauled it in my quarter one um, video, but typically for 11 ounces, this is $25. But for 33.8 ounces, it was on sale for $33. So I always need lots of conditioner. I run out of it first, so I thought I would just get the one liter of conditioner. And I like that it's 98% natural, no silicones, no parabens. Um, I don't know, it's a coconut milk color for color treated hair, meadow foam. I'm just reading words on here now, but um, I thought that was a good deal, a good time to pick it up. And and to reach the $35 uh, shipping minimum with it, I had purchased this, which is the BH Cosmetics Belgium Waffle Palette. So this is uh, a baked bronzer and highlight palette. You guys know that within the last few months, I guess like in the quarter one haul at least, I've been really enjoying the BH Cosmetics uh, palettes. They're such a good price. This was $18. Then you can use the $350 off 15 coupon. And yeah, I'm just really excited about it. Here's what it looks like. And here's the inside. Um, 
So the top are bronzers with a little highlight and then the bottom are highlighters. And I just thought these bronzers look really nice in terms of my skin tone at least. I feel like I can really use everything that is in this palette which is pretty rare um you know for purchasing a palette so that's really what drew me in but also having experience with their other palettes and really liking them they're very pigmented and easy to use so I picked this up and I just think it's so freaking cute um I can't wait but that's the first thing that I picked up or one of the orders. Actually, that was the very last order that I made. Then what really got this order popping is Jessica Braun. She has been talking about MAC Double Gleam for so long. And I'm so upset that when I actually bought it, it went on sale a week later. I was like, I have used a lot of this stuff at least one time. And I do really like this. And the one time I used it, I just really, really loved it. So I'm excited to kind of throw this into the rotation and play with it a little bit more. So we got Double Gleam. And then the other ones, y'all know I had to get. So I purchased one and then they went on sale a week later. But the MAC um, Glow Play blushes everyone is raving about them right now and i'm personally not like a cream blush bronzer person but these were described as like a cream to powder um formula and i do like that so this color is called cheer up and when i saw they were on sale i had to get another one and this one is called um so natural and so natural is the one jessica talks about and I used um, Cheer Up one day and I absolutely loved it. It stayed on all day. I even did a workout in it and I just absolutely loved it. So I thought, why not just get another one while it was on sale? And it's really cute. It's like their traditional packaging, but clear. Um, love that. And this one's more of a peach color. And you can see it has like kind of that powder finish, but it's like smushy, like ColourPop type products so I'll just swatch that's what that looks like I almost got a color pop blush but I was like well if I got two of these um I might as well just call it a day at least for now maybe quarter three call in October we'll do that so natural I have not used yet it's actually first time opening so it does come with like this clear thing on top like a little bubble so I'm going to take that out and this one's more of a natural color. Nude, I guess, would be the more correct term. More of a nude color. So, I love this. I think this would go with, like, a lot of different skin types. Um, as well as the other one. I think they're just such versatile colors. So, I love these. And I'm excited to play with them a little bit more. So, those were my MAC purchases. And... For one of the orders, they had free MAC eyelashes. So, I actually don't have any lash glue. I am going to get some so that I can play with them. But, here's what they look like. I never really play with lashes. Um, these are called A79. I don't know if they have like another name than that. But, I do want to play with them and see. These are like pretty dramatic. <laughs> so, okay. That was all from MAC. And then Juvia's Place, I wanted to purchase more because I, well, in particular, I want to purchase more from Juvia's Place, but this in particular, I was, I've been eyeing it for months. And this is the Tribe Highlighter 03. I first saw Casey Holmes talk about it, and then I saw some other people talk about it, and I was like, I need it. So here's what the outer packaging looks like. And you open it up, and it's very uh, similar to Cookie Highlighter by Benefit. Um, and this one's just a little bit cheaper. But this one is like, you got highlighter on today. Okay, there's no denying it. Like, this is wham, bam, in your face. There's no looking back. <laughs> You're blinding everyone. So, uh, it's a type. 
you know, it's tight. Do you like blinding highlighters or no? That's gonna determine if you should get this. But I love it from the one time I used it. So excited to give that some love. Um, and then here are some products that are new um, that I just like, that you were, just spoke to me. So first is Maybelline's Glass Spray. So this is a makeup finishing spray. Skin looks hydrated and dewy. Those are my those are my words. Those are my selling point words. So you put that in an affordable brand? Yeah. I haven't used it yet, but I'm excited to use that. And then this one um, made me think of how MAC always comes out with their Fix Plus that are like scented and how they're so expensive I never get them. So Milani came out with a scented line and this one is called uh, mango coconut and it is their make it last spray and I used it once and I think it smells really good and the sprayer is really nice and I already know I like this setting spray and I was kind of thinking about getting one of their other scents but now my window is closed but it, I don't know I just made me think of how I always wanted to try the max fix plus but those are like $30 for like a scent to be I mean ugh. This was 10. <laughs> and the sprayer, you know, is super nice. Ooh. It's like on the beach. That kind of mango coconut. Like you got a little cocktail. You got your sunscreen on. You're getting the rays. You know, that's that's that smell. Love that. It's like lingering. I love this for us. Okay, we have two more products from Ulta. This one was kind of a like, let's hit the shipping minimum, and plus I've heard people talk about it. This is Color Pop, and this one's called Meteorite, question mark, and this is one of their pressed blushes, and I don't think I've ever tried any of their pressed blushes, and I haven't tried this one yet either, but I love that it's another nude color, and it has like a little pink tint to it as well um yeah i'm excited it's very similar to the mac so natural at least in pan i don't know like how they perform on the face but definitely love having neutral blushes mine today is not super neutral like she's here you know so they're good for like bold eye looks or maybe when I put the lashes on I'm probably gonna need <laughs> something a little bit more natural with it um, and then the last things I needed to hit shipping story of my life so I threw in this sun balm coconut lip SPF lip balm the coconut is strong it's like so it's like sweet fake strong I don't know. I'll probably use it days I'm outside, but I don't see it being like a favorite or anything like that. So, all right. That was everything from Ulta. Like, we need a break. We need a break. All right. We'll move along. <laughs> I only ordered one thing from Too Faced, but they sent this huge box um, with lots of stuffing. So, thank you. Too Faced. <laughs> but what I had picked up was the Too Faced Melted Matte and this one is in Feeling Myself and they have free shipping and I don't think I got a sale other than free shipping but Ulta didn't have this color so I thought I would just go ahead and pick it up. We've been watching not so much in the last week but this month we've been watching a lot of Beverly Hills Real Housewives and Dorit always wears like such a neutral look with a bright lip. So that's where a lot of these purchases here on out were or inspired by. So again, this is feeling myself. It's like a coral color. And I know that I love this formula. So I thought I would just get like a bold look in it or a bold color and see how I like it. So I actually haven't even tried it yet, but I think it's gonna be really, really pretty. All right, CVS. We got a couple things from CVS. I have shown these in a weekly makeup basket, so this might be a repeat for some of you. But this is the um, the cream shop, 
and this is Tikini, Tiki Bikini Bronzer and this is what the outer packaging looks like. Super cute. This was about $8 at CVS and then again this is really like, I don't know, a chic. She's chic. But Casey Holmes is who I saw using this a few months ago. Um, I think she did a whole brand look with this and ever since then I wanted to try it. It is a little bit dark. It's right here. Um, but it blends out really nicely. So I'm excited to give that some more love. And then I, in the last couple years, I've really gotten into loose setting powders. But they're like a full-time job sometimes. So I want to incorporate more pressed uh, powders. But all the ones I have at this point are high-end. So I wanted some drugstore options. So I picked up CoverGirl. This is the... Uh, advanced radiance pressed powder and I haven't well I guess I used it once but I haven't really used it enough to have a feeling about it but um, we'll definitely throw it in a weekly makeup basket here in the near future and see what we think but it's definitely like that cover girl smell love that for us but yeah okay pressed powder excited to play with that this is one that I have gone back and forth about for a long time but I decided to go ahead and get it and I picked it up from CVS which is the Wonder 2 uh, Wonder Brow One Step Brow Gel. Uh, perfect eyebrows that last for days and I got mine in Burnett, Burnett and it comes with a couple of things. It comes with like a, a spoolie to brush out your brows and then the actual product looks like this. I've used this a couple of times and the color is actually a really good match for me. So again, this is Burnett. Um, I will say it's a little, a little trial and error as far as application goes. I think the best way for me to use it is going to be just um, get an eyebrow brush, pull an eyebrow brush out for my brushes. And because this is like a brush tip. This is a brush tip, so it's kind of hard to control. Not impossible, but it's a little challenging to figure out. But y'all, when I read on the packaging that it could last for three days, I was like, well, up to three days. I was like, I basically ignored it because I was like, oh, okay, I wash my face every night. I'm sure that doesn't apply to me. Y'all, I don't think it hit three days, but it was... I put it on, it wore all day, I washed it, my face that night, washed it the next morning, it was still on, I went and taught a class, washed my face again while well, I took a shower, and it was like, not as intense, but like, there, like my brows were still filled in, and I was like, Wonder Brow, you and I are going to be together forever, I'm just going to have to figure out how to apply you more efficiently, so I'm excited to play with this and try it, I think L'Oreal or Maybelline, one of those two companies has like, I think a, their version of this, but I wanted to try like the real thing first and kind of see maybe down the road if I, if their versions compare to it, but I'm excited. And finally we have some Target purchases. Um... <sighs> This is just stuff that I wanted for a while or was kind of like on a whim. It's like a mixture of both. So the first is the e.l.f. Bite Size Palette and this one is in Pumpkin Pie. These came out this year and they're $3 for these little guys and everyone keeps talking about the quality. So I just picked up one and if I like it as much as the hype here on YouTube, then I'll like go down and get I'll go down there. I'll go down there and target and get another one. <laughs> Alright, so let me get the, this off. Alright, so here are the colors. I wanted one that had colors where I would use every single one. Some had super dark colors and I just knew, knowing myself, that I would not use a super dark color. So it would be a wasted color and an already small palette. But, oh yeah, those feel really nice. And they swatch nice. And we'll just go right here. We love that. We love that around here. 
So that again is pumpkin pie from their bite size and it's three dollars. Okay, another Jessica Braun purchase is the light number no. seven lift and illuminate. Uh, this is a pressed powder that she likes using under her eyes specifically and she compares it to the Charlotte Tilbury one which I've never tried that $45 price point just gets me and I have used it once and was not disappointed so I think this can be one that kind of lives in my collection or my makeup basket for a while and I'll just kind of feel it out but this was like $11 so I I'm excited to try it out and get my feelings on it I know they have bronzers that were hyped a few years ago that I'm kind of curious about but We'll just stick to the current height situation. All right, and then the last few are Dorit inspired lipsticks. So I didn't want to buy a lot of like high-end lipsticks in this color because I'm just not sure that I'm gonna love the color on me, but I did want to try. So they're all like these hot pink summer type colors. So the first one is from Maybelline and it's Fuchsia For Me 379. So this is the packaging. Oh y'all. Ooh, ooh. We'll just swatch it next to the Too Faced one. Fuchsia For Me, right there. Oh, that Maybelline smell, y'all. Classic. All right, the next one is, who is you? Is this Maybelline? Maybelline 100 Magenta Affair. So this is the packaging. 100. Yeah. This is more like a shiny one. I want so the first one was matte, but this one's shiny, so they're essentially the same color but different formulas because I was kind of thinking maybe shiny would look better but then I was like maybe matte would wear longer so I thought I would try it in two different formulas to see how I feel about it. Finally is L'Oreal. I have not had a Maybelline or L'Oreal lip product in so long. This is so exciting but this is Miss Magenta 185 so it's just their classic gold bullet and here is the bottom. In the color this oh, I forget is this like a, a matte it's bold <laughs> this is a matte color uh, it's like a mix so it's right there so they're all very similar we'll just see how I like each formula and I'll definitely let you guys know but um I was in a mood if <laughs> you couldn't tell <laughs> with the lipsticks I was feeling a vibe I haven't tried any of them on my lips, but I'll definitely be doing that soon since I was doing um the this like warm eye look all June and I just felt like these lips would be like too much with it, but now I have a more neutral eyeshadow palette that I'm using, so I think it'll be great to use with these. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. That was a lot. That was a lot. So yeah, we we got some good stuff. We got some really good stuff this month. I'm excited to use it all. I did a really good job of not buying primers, foundations, or settings. Mm. No, I did buy setting sprays. I bought two. I did a good job, primer, foundation, concealer, not buying any of those, and I shouldn't have been buying setting sprays because those are just like larger categories in my collection, but here we are. Here we are. <sighs> Thank you guys all so much for watching. Thanks for being a part of my channel, and please subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new here. But I'm excited to play with new makeup. I'm excited to give you guys some new makeup to play with. Um, I do have Get Ready With Me's on my channel with last uh, go rounds products. So they're like a rehaul Get Ready With Me. And uh, I also have some products that I'm gonna speed review coming up soon too. So it's good to just have more, more stuff. You know, it's just fun. <laughs> Anyways, let me know if you saw something here that you are excited to see in action, and I'll be sure to work it into a video. 
Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you're all well. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!